Christianity that are not with us. Some have been here and gone, and some have not been able to be with us. Be with them, Lord. Take care of them as only you can. And be glorified. Thank you for loving us and making a way for us this day. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All our plants. Round about the table. But, you know, we 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 experience this in a meeting such as this. That we're a part of one another. Our lives are intertwined because of uh, our relationship, our children. Our wives, husbands, children. Our wives should be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house. Our children, like olive plants. And you know, our children, they're just growing up around us. Mm. <laughs> and you know, they're already beginning to. Uh, show marks of their personality, where they're going, or the direction they're going in their life. It's a miracle how that God touches our lives and and gives each of us different talents. Our talents is something that is God given. And, and we can't be somebody else. We just have to be ourselves. Or that thou shalt, thus shall the man be blessed that fears the Lord. That's a primary thing of, of fear. And, and it, it's not a... It's a holy respect for God. You know, we can uh, we can dis disrespect God's word, and and we'll suffer for it. But I'll tell you, if we can learn to listen to God and His teachings in our life, it will enrich us no end. Plus the end, everlasting life. And without that, when we come to the end of our journey, it's going to be a sad, sad time. It's going to be a difficult time. I won't even go into that. Verse 5 it says, The Lord bless thee out of Zion, and thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem in all the days of thy life. So, you know, it, it's not a something just happens in a little corner. It, it's a far-reaching effect in our life. He, he said, and, and you know, just a meeting like this with our families, he said, the Lord shall bless thee out of Zion and thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Yea, thou shalt see thy children, children's children, and peace upon Jerusalem. You know, Grandma and I, here, we see our children's children out here in the experience of this day. And it, it's a wonderful thing that we look at uh, our life and the life of our family through God's eyes, we get the clearer picture then than we do in our earthly thinking. <coughs> our families are a gift from the Lord. And, and you know, There's no higher uh, calling than the calling that we have as our families through God. 
We love him because he first loved us. Amen. While we were in our beginning and trying to figure out how, what about life, God loved us and made a way for us. And me and Grandma had been down the road a few days. <laughs> but we've been blessed. Amen. And I give the Lord the praise. Amen. And I want to tell you something. Every morning when we have our devotion, we call every one of your names. There's not a one left out. We usually start at Brandon's and Teddy and on down to Little Hours. And we love every one of you. And we just, and I'm just. Like I said, I like that on that if you could didn't hear me. But I'm praying for those that will come be born after we're gone. We won't even know. But I'm praying for them that God will bless and help them to continue on and love the Lord and serve the Lord when we can all be together someday. That may be wonderful day we won't have to be separated. Come to faith.